Let's practice the aggressive counterpuncher style with Kaito in the Tours 7 and Tour 8 of Tennis Clash, a sports game published by Wi-Fi Studios. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel Gameplay 65 if you like this video. So why do I use the word aggressive counterpuncher? That's because normally the counterpuncher is a defensive baseliner, also called a retriever, who tries to return every ball and relies on the opponent making mistakes. But in this video, I will try to take risk whenever possible and not just return the balls the most secure way possible. And that's an aggressive approach while playing with the counterpuncher character, Kaito. So let's start by a match in Tour 8 versus another Kaito player. Here we go. Okay, so let's play with the uh, windshield wiper for the start. He cut the net. So if you hit the net too often, think to make a longer swipe. And that way you will avoid the net. But don't make it a swipe too long either, otherwise the ball will go out very often. So practice to find the perfect length for you. Okay, so if you play with Kaito, you don't have a great forehand and backhand compared to Victoria, but you have higher agility and greater stamina. At least if you have used the antioxidants card like me, so take advantage of this agility to return real fast and give the least time possible to the opponent to adjust his stroke. So that way he should not be able to harm a hard stroke and you will flank him more easily with the following hits. So sometimes they think about breaking the pace like here by hitting the soft drop shots and draw your opponent to the net. And then you will have more time to hit the other side after having unsettled him. So sometimes you can anticipate, you should anticipate for your opponent's hits, even if you have high agility. So here I'm going to anticipate a cross court <laughs> shot, but my opponent chose instead to hit the other side. So feel free to take um, some risk with the cross court drop shot, like here, to return your opponent's weak serve, even if it doesn't outflank him completely. It can push him out of the court and then you will have more room to hit your return. And then the opponent will have a hard time catching your return and will be late to return all of your following strokes until the moment you end the rally, if possible with a little drop shot like I just did to end the match. Let's take a look at the... Um, so here is uh, in, um, another match but in Tour 7 with the same opponent. Just in case you wonder how um, I could play him s twice in Tour 7 and then uh, in Tour 8 and then in Tour 7 where we were playing at the same time. Uh, I, I mean, I, I don't know him, of course, uh, but uh, we were playing in Tennis Clash at the same time, so the probability if we go into the same tour to meet each other is very high, especially then because uh, he has almost the same number of trophies than me. So it's uh, almost the ideal matchmaking here. 2,626 versus 2,628. Well, he was making a lot of enforced errors there. And well, we uh, we left the Tour 8, then we went to the Tour 7 almost at the same time. That's funny, coincidence. I don't, I can't play a lot in the Tour 8 right now because I don't have, I have the, the stats of the top 30 players who play there. And well, I will be smashed too often. And when you lose 600,000 coins each time that uh, with a defeat, well, that can end up by um, by making a huge amount of money. You have lost the money. Um, so that's why I'm um, I'm going to wait to level up my cards before playing regularly in the Tour 8. Okay, well that's easier when you have more stamina than your opponent. As you can see, stamina is very important now. If you have more than your opponent, you can feel more confidence to end the match. 60 versus 48, that's nice. It's another match in the Tour 7. So my opponent prefers to, uh, to put points on the forehand and big hand instead of on the stamina. So, of course, he has to take advantage of his big forehand and big hand, uh, backhand. 
to try to outflank me. Problem is that his accuracy wasn't v very present, and well, I was trying to break the pace a bit. Oh my gosh! Yeah, that was not very accurate. I think that he's going to uh, to practice that, and it was not accurate there neither. Was returning the gift. So obviously, if you put a lot of points on the stamina, you will have um, a lower, uh, a weaker forehand. But uh, the the thing is that you will have more, you will have more stamina, so you can feel more confident the, uh, when the match is going to last for a longer time. You can run longer. You won't have any problem of uh, stamina lack. So look at that. The stamina of my opponent is starting to be depleted already. Well, it's th the match was not going to, to last anyway. But I mean, if it had to last, that would be a big problem for him. You know? It would be a big problem. If it was a, a, a tough match, here it was not. But... Uh, because I was, I was attacking whenever I can. Okay, and that's in the box. All right. Well, let's play another match. Still to seven. Honestly, instead of putting a sixty-five. 64 on the forehand and backhand, I wouldn't have put more points on stamina. If it was the uh, the previous opponent, so this is another opponent. He is playing with the Sakura string, which is uh, one of the best, uh, one of the best, I said, special strings. Um, it basically has uh, the uh, the perks of the Choker Quartz, but with uh, an extra ability, which is the um, forehand counter. So uh, that is like um, he's playing with the silver and wire, which has a stamina shear. <laughs> okay, so wind shear and wiper, classic one that works a lot, and that can work even better because with Kaito, you know, you have a speed of execution which is very high. So you can take advantage of that to uh, to be on the ball very early, and then to hit it to the other side as uh, fast as you can, uh, as accurately as you can. But of course, your opponent having a kaito has this agility too, this speed of execution. So well, sometimes yeah, you have to. Uh, Take advantage of the enforced errors made by your opponent too. Let's defend, so that was not possible for me to reach there. Would love to have uh, four more agility points. That would be possible if my uh, Anvil shoes had uh, level 13. But, uh, well, it is only at level 12 right now. And a lot of top 50 players have it. Uh, have those shoes at level 13 and that's why they have a great agility that's very good it's very easy t for them to uh, to avoid being outflanked in tour 8 that's why I can barely play in tour 8 um, without the, the anvil at uh, level 13 for now unless I can find the same yeah, same kind of uh, opponents having the almost the same stats, but that's not very frequent. Doesn't happen a lot in trade. All right. So I'm playing this match without antioxidants. So I have a symmetrical forehand backhand, 64 each, but less stamina. So, um, well. 
I haven't played a lot of matches with this symmetrical, symmetrical uh, forehand and backhand yet, but what I can say is that um, that's not so important actually to have a 64 in forehand and backhand for Kato. I wouldn't say that it's, uh, it's not very secure and it's better to, to have um, more stamina and uh, a weaker forehand. Because it's, you know, when the, when the match is going to last, well, you have always this uh, feeling that uh, you will lack stamina. And that's not good at all. My opponent had decided to put a lot of points on his stamina. That's why you can see that his stamina bar is still very high after this uh, moment of added moments uh, of the match he, it's, he I know his this is so opponent he is see he doesn't have a lot of patience he, he always like to end the points as fast as possible and well he he ends up making a lot of enforced errors okay so this one doesn't have a lot of uh, power in forehand and backhand but you know if you play accurately you still can hurt your open sometimes the experience can can wait too and have a, a good weight of course it's better it's preferable to play with uh, more stats but uh, well if you know how to hit to break the pace and to hit the uh, the, some hard strokes and to alternate with uh, cross court drop shots or drop shots, well, that can pay. Alright. Yeah. That's definitely the thing to do. You can keep hitting one corner for several times and then suddenly you change to hit the other corner. That's is good to. Uh, well, to uh, to break the pace totally, and to unsettle and to outflank completely your opponent. Well, Kaito catching and defending is really easy. I can feel that, you know. Why? B because I am s have been playing a lot with uh, Victoria, and playing with Kaito is so easier actually so much this gives you such a secure feeling that you will be on the ball to hit it almost all the time contrary to Victoria who will f have a very hard time yeah he had some like that to hit balls because he uh, she doesn't have a lot of agility so if she doesn't end the points quickly she will have a lot of problems well, I hope you enjoy watching me practice the aggressive counter punch style with Kato in the Tour 7 and Tour 8 of Tennis Slash, a sports game published by Wi-Fi Studios. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel Gameplay 365 to turn on the bell to stay tuned for new videos of Tennis Slash. Thank you a lot for your support and see you soon on Gameplay 365. Bye-bye.